Alright, this is Eternal Blade, and welcome to part 33 of the Space Marine Thunderfire Cannon tutorial. We were working on the gun here. Um, Alright, so let's continue with that. Select the main barrel here. Go to Polygon. Select this. Put it on a bevel it out a bit. Inset zero. Go to the left viewport here and just scale out a bit. Extrude here. Just follow those lines there. Oops. All right. Perspective. Um, set this edge, ring, polygons, extrude on the local normal, and bring it down a bit. Alright. Next, we're going to want to I just got rid of that top little piece because the right click menu does not work with Camtasia. So let's create a cylinder using auto grid on the top here. Alright. Looks pretty good. Um, bring the height segments down, increase the height, and then just Wrap it in place there, convert it to an editable poly, and inset, okay, extrude just a bit, alright, um, effect pivot only, align it to the base thing there. Copy it 90 three times. Alright, now press Q to go into just selection. Select all of those um, rivets or bolts, whatever. Bring them right to the middle. R, and then just scale them out until they pop right out there. Alright, and then bring them back. I guess I did a little bit too much, so scale them in a bit. Alright, I guess that's not going to work. Just put them in the middle then. Just go with the flow. Alright, next we're going to build these little hinge like mechanisms right here. So, build a box. We're just going to build it right on here table. Um, Alright. And move it into place. Top viewport. Just kind of line it up there. Perspective. Um, convert to editable poly. Select these top two edges here and connect. Slide that connection back just a bit. Okay, wrong ones. There we go. Select those two. Connect. Uh, delete that right there. Hinge from edge, pick hinge, the middle one, 180, and six, eight. 8 looks good, 8 segments, press delete, control A, weld, okay, mm. next, just sync that right down in here, alright, and 
push it up against the side there so it passes the little weld thing. And I believe that should do it for that. Select the edges there. Loop. Chamfer. Go to small, small chamfer, or else you'll have problems. Mm. Next, build a cylinder uh, right in the center. Okay, um, decrease the radius, and I guess just move it up a bit. <coughs> Bring it up the other side and increase the height until you can even it out here. Go to the top view. That looks pretty good actually. Okay, convert to edit for poly. Select both sides here. Just do some quick bevels to make it look cool. Scale problems. Alright, here we go. Just zero. Alright, here we go. Decrease the height, apply, bring it in, apply, and bring it out. Alright. Next, let's get this arm thing going on. So, left hand view here, make a copy of this. Increase the size in the XY direction here. And select this here, copy it, rotate it 90 degrees, or 180 degrees, sorry. And actually, Never mind, delete this piece. Put this right in the center here. Perspective and scale it in the X direction so it comes out of both ends. Alright. Uh, effect pivot only, center to object. a little bit. That looks pretty good. Um, next, let's build the... Hmm, actual arm, which is going to be just basic box, I guess. So build it there. Effect pivot only, align it to that little sphere right there. Oops, turn that off. And convert it to an editable poly. Drag these back just so they're hidden. Move these down a bit. Okay, rotate it upward. Just so it's centered there. Top view. Right. Center it up. Perspective. Okay, um, select the side polygons here. Inset just a bit and extrude inward a bit. Texture here, so we can see what we're doing. Cylinder um, right here, five sides. Just slip it right down there using the local, and that'll be it for part 33. I'll see you in part 34.